Okay, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics. I'm here with co-host Patrick Kirby. Thanks for joining us today. And today we are doing a live beta test of combining video conferencing with live streaming. Um, for anyone that doesn't know uh, about PTZ Optics, we do live streaming video conferencing and broadcast cameras. And we really find ourselves in the middle of video conferencing world and the live streaming world and the broadcast world. Yep. Um, these these worlds tend to be colliding. Um, you know, there's a lot of crossover and a lot of people in the future see these technologies being much more closely entwined with each other and, and a significant amount of crossover. So um, the way we have this set up is we are actually um, using a video conferencing service called Zoom Video Conferencing. And we're taking that video conference with, and we're actually capturing it with a capture card from Epifan Video. And so we're taking that, that, that uh, video, capturing it, and then we're streaming it to YouTube Live. Um, so that way we can have a two-way video conference call uh, with pretty much an, uh, up to 50 people um, and stream it to YouTube Live. Uh, so that's what we're doing here. Uh, we're doing this to prove that uh, you know the live streaming world, the AV and the IT worlds are coming together, they're converging, and uh, there's a lot of different ways that you can go about doing this. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to share our screen with the video conferencing software. Um, so we're going to share our screen and on uh, right here uh, actually is, is the inside look at YouTube Live. Uh, so you can actually see that uh, you have a stream now tab, uh, live streaming area of YouTube, and there's an events area, and you can see that this this live stream is actually going on right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to live.ptzoptics.com, and you'll actually see that we've embedded the video. Um, this is actually an embedded live stream uh, that we're actually you know <coughs> this, this is us right here. There's a little bit of latency, uh, but that that is actually the live stream there. Um, so one of the cool things about that, and I'll let that play for a minute here, is that um, we should be able to um, actually see the, um, see there's clouds in the background, we're actually doing a full green screen effect. Uh, so there's a lot of things we can do once this is set up. So let, let's take a look at how, how this, this system is, is done here. Um, what we have is we have a, um, a web conferencing setup traditional web conferencing setup. Pat, maybe you want to explain the setup here. Yeah, so basically we have a, you know, a, a, a newer, um, not, not so traditional, but a USB-based video conferencing setup that you see here with the PTZ Optics, um, Zoom.us, and what we have there is the HuddlePod Air going into uh, our Nook, right? That gets you some web conferencing capabilities. Um, and then what we did is we pretty much took the HDMI out, did to a splitter, you know, we have it up on our screen so we can see what we're doing. We're also going in via this AV.io Epifan piece into uh, the PC you, you see in front of us here. Um, you know, with the, with the simple U USB microphone, uh, you can then take it, pretty much this entire sh video input, and stream it out to YouTube Live. Um, you know, you have Wirecast, I guess, live stream. There's, there's, there's a good amount of s content Delivery networks. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, YouTube Live would be a CDN. But yeah, I guess. I suppose. Yeah, it is really the first, the, the very first free CDN that, that the world has ever ever really had. Um, that's why this is so groundbreaking. We we think it's going to change, but not just the live streaming industry, but the video conferencing industry. And that that's really what we're showing here is that yeah, you can run a video conference, right? You know, that's not going to change, but the fact that you can live stream it now to thousands of people for free now that is going to change the the industry um, you know maybe we're going to think about video <clears throat> conferences differently now you know maybe we think about okay how many people do I need in my video conference with two-way audio and then how many people do I need to live stream this to you know how many people are interested in watching this live stream because YouTube live can most likely support it now YouTube live is still in beta so you can search and search, and they're not going to tell you the maximum amount of viewers that you can support with YouTube Live. But what I will say is that the celebrities are using it. Okay, yep. um, Conan O'Brien uses it to, to stream out live. Um, you know, Jimmy Fallon, I've seen use it. Yeah, you have. Um, I don't. You know, this is 
the the rise of YouTube stars, but you know you have small small smaller broadcasts, um, you know, on literally purely online shows, if you will, um, channel you know different YouTube channels. Now they might not be live streaming, um, you know some some people you know, live streaming and kind of doing videos is I guess slightly different, but you do you you get a lot of this crossover actually in in the gamer world. Mm -hmm. um, I think Twitch or something like that. I, I'm, I yep. don't. I don't do it personally, but there's uh, a lot of live streaming in the gamer community um, that's picking up, becoming more popular. Um, so streaming is definitely something that's uh, picking up in popularity, and people at, obviously see a use for it. So uh, one of the things we wanted to explain is that uh, you know we're not doing this because.